Now we are recording the final class for uh, principle of management. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so in certain times, if we need this resource, if we need this tool, like SOP, a standard of procedure, we want to see how we can make it work. This is one of the things. And in the planning, some of you are tired with that because I always like I try to push you how to develop your objectives. Uh, but it, it, my main observation when we are developing objectives is uh, to be the best pre precise, the, to have the most amount of precision possible, specify the dates or uh, what you want to accomplish and that works for you in your personal and professional area so let's let's do that together uh, just a yeah, short conversation about that and then we will be set up with everything else let me before i keep going um i keep going before that uh, i just um I don't know if you like this or not, but I'm, I'm going to try to do this. Let me show you something real quick. Um, here. Okay, so. Uh, I have, a, you know, you are doing very good. Actually, yes. Uh, I have good results in this class. I have, I'm just going to highlight uh, for today the name of Fatima Andrea. She's in my club of the highest. I also have Ami, Amida Assis. She teach me how to say the name correctly. I, think. I also have Lauren Patricia. I have here. Almas Nuruddin Daruwala. I have uh, Modesta Shavir. Hey, I also have Nasma Salim, Nuruddin Lalani, eh, Juan Clesia de Araujo, eh, Mohamed Al Mamun, Mayra Suelen Pereira, Almas Hasnain Rauhani. I don't want to miss anybody because then you kill me. I have Chavnan, Chavnan Sundrani, Nichas Nikacha, Altes Nazar Ali, Samnani. Uh, Deborah Vieira de Acevedo, those are, um, you know, my highest in this class. It doesn't mean that the others can uh, do, uh, do everything uh, like that. Uh, if, if some of you have, um, I have some zeros and some space empty. That means that I have no zeros. I don't have zeros, too much zeros here. Actually, actually, no, no zero. But yeah, some, some. But if you have a space empty that you don't have your grade yet, that means one, if you send it, that means I have to check. So I have been working in that a lot in every course, especially in the discussion that you were doing. And But if you send the discussion this week, Monday, Sunday, maybe you don't want to see your grades yet. Uh, give me until the end of this week and you will see your grades updated. Probably Saturday, you will see like a lot in the class. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure. But the log means is over and there is no more the the professor closed the, the the class so some of your class were closed because i know some teacher put the lock so that means there is no more option now to send anything uh, some of your teachers did that uh, but the system will be officially open until friday so if you have to send assignment in other course move fast or in these ones also, to you can do it, and we can we as depending the teacher, right? Uh, what you what you talk with them, uh, is gonna it can work, right? But my ones that are here, they know they can send, and I will check. Uh, but don't make me wait until Friday because it's more it's harder. Uh, in this class, of uh, fortunately, uh, yes, you are responding fast especially in this class more than the others so yes and um, not too much things pending 
okay so yeah that's it but again if you submit this question especially in the discussion and you don't have the grade yet is that means because you recently sent a couple days ago three four five days ago and i have to verify that but but basically everybody have final grade almost everybody for example i'm gonna say a name it, it means that your grades are done okay so for example amida hamida assist is done with everything right but i also have uh, diane carafini is done with everything i also have here uh, uh, larissa larissa lacani is done with everything uh, on, as far as I can see, and I also have more people here. Some of you don't have because the discussion, but don't worry, I will check. Mohamed Al Mamou, final grade, and also Nasma Jesmin, final grade. And, uh, and yeah, some more. For example, Salman, he have everything, Alpesh have everything, and also Shah have everything and yeah so the other names i didn't say is because i have to check some things probably that you submit and i haven't get there so that's why i'm saying those names those names i say i don't see anything pending with them so you can uh, somebody want to say something yes ma'am i was going to say we cannot see you. <laughs> yeah, there was one moment that I, uh, a few seconds ago, I put it like that. But I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm not leaving. I'm here. Okay, ma'am. So uh, today, uh, do we have any classes or are we doing something, some exercise? Yeah, uh, I just have some topic but no exercise modesize asking for the final so i'm gonna stay with the ones that needs to go there i think nobody let me see somebody needs the final mm, maybe one two uh, three three person i have here that not uh, complete final yet so i'm gonna stay once i uh, they leave uh, so we, i don't want to retain yes i saw you Madesa. so once uh, they can be free like a bear i'm gonna take care of you yeah so in case you want it yes no you can do by yourself the final you do by yourself in all the course <laughs> Anyway, let's let's uh, okay. I'm going for I'm going with you, Montessa, later in a few minutes. So uh, <laughs> she's happy. So uh, organizational planning and controlling. That's what I was showing you. I I mean I have to show you, but before I show you, I'm gonna remove your stuff because then you um, won't be happy if I show your stuff. If you have comments, something to say in the meantime, maybe experience that you have related to this kind of topic, tell me, tell me, tell us so we can learn from you, okay? Thank you for your patience and for understanding. It's, um, it's, yes. So let's go here in the week 15, the last week. Uh, you click on the Yes. So yes. those who have completed the final activity, they they have to stay in the call or in the class. If you have stuff to do, it's okay. I'm just gonna explain the final topic. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record everything and I'm gonna explain the final topic. That's what I will do. And then to the ones that wanna go back, I go back. But that's it. You decide. Okay. What you want. You are free to decide. Everybody's free to decide today. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's keep going with the um, let's keep going with this. If somebody is here and wanna say something, uh, you can, you can people. So let's uh, if you see this topic, it's gonna be the presentation and then the book. You just can look the final topic is the last one. I mean the two last ones, 16 and 17. And then uh, that's it. 
for change and the organizational planning and controlling is one what i wanted to explain you today we want to do it the best way possible right we spoke about a lot of planning right process when we establish goals goals you need you, you know if you ask to people that it's having uh, many good results they will always tell you uh, if you look in the web youtube your friend youtube everybody will talk about the importance of planning to put it in paper what the goals that we have so i wanted to make sure everybody have an idea and yeah this word document won't help me but i'm gonna do something real quick in word um to to give you an idea how to write your objectives for the ones that uh, wanna see uh, to be specific, be specific all the time in your objectives. Um, so that's what we want, outcomes when we are planning, okay? Um, let's gonna keep going with that because I'm gonna show you something else real quick here. So here, this is what you see on the screen. I'm checking my screen, yes or no, yes. So what you see on the screen is the planning process, the planning process. Um, for example, developing uh, that we have a need um, what we want to obtain. And then when we say premising forecasting is when we are analyzing uh, the, the um, possibilities that we have. Okay. Determining a cause of action, identifying alternatives. Um, sometimes we need support plans or, for example, we need contingency and uh, how, how to um, process in case of emergency. So let's do an example uh, here. I did with that with you sometimes, but uh, I'm going to open this because I don't have word. I don't have word. So I have to fix this little problem here with the, with the word, but I'm going to do it in this uh, system, which is word, but uh, like online. So we can make an example of objective. So for example, let's say, let's put something that you would like to do in the future. One word, one word is enough for me. Let's say something that you want to do in next year, something that you want to achieve. It can be personal. Uh, somebody that helped me in the chat. Let me see in the chat. I need final. Ah, this is Modesa. Uh, somebody that want to, oh, actually what Modesa put in the chat, uh, help me. But I would like to have an example, something that give you excitement, something that you would like to do. Let's say that you have five million dollars in your hand right now. Something that you would like to do right now, 453, what you would like? You can put me on the chat or tell me something, some goals, some, some, some expectation, let's say $10 million, 20, any big amount that you want to imagine, 100,000 million, which, which, which will be the thing that you will do? Uh, for example, what comes to your mind? An activity that you would like to do, something that, that give you excitement and passion to do. What do you think? Tell me. You can tell me what do you think about one goal, a goal, something. But don't tell me the goal, everything. You can say one word. One word, something you are uh, dreaming, a dream that you have. One word is enough for me. Going on a word tour. Oh, Modesa helping me. Sorry, I didn't. OK, word tour. So that's a goal. Let's put it here in my paper because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, make like a mod this up. So uh, I will write my goal, right? So uh, my goal is objective. I'm gonna put the word objective here, objective. Uh, go in a, I'm gonna use the same words that mod this up, say, word tour during January, uh, 2024 uh, to uh, all the countries in, I don't know which, which I'm going to say all the 
Mm, give me an idea. In, in, in which part of the world we can say, well, it's a world tour, it's in everywhere, but I think we have to set up a, <laughs> the world is so big. So let's say, well, let's put like a something because world tour is very, it's a big one. So let's try to maintain it a little bit more uh, <laughs> um, like in parts, right? So we can say, uh, going in a world tour but in certain region so we're gonna be in a tour but in certain region because i'm gonna do it during january so i can have time to visit the most amount of countries where do you think to all the asian uh, i'm gonna say asian um european countries european countries that's what i was thinking but uh, i don't know if that, that was something that you uh, like so I'm going to say European countries. I was trying to adapt my mind to see what they will like. I don't know, maybe Asia, maybe Europe, I don't know. So maybe Africa, I don't know. So um, go in a world tour during January 24 uh, uh, to all European countries uh, during January until February. Why I'm doing this like that? Because I'm trying to be the most specific possible. All European countries keep being a little bit big because there are many countries over there, but we're gonna uh, say that we're gonna visit every single one, which um, it's maybe a little challenge because some countries maybe are, I don't know, with restriction or conflict, you know, there, there were some conflicts recently that we think about. But you know what I'm what I'm doing? I'm trying to analyze the possibility, the scope, the reach of the goal that Modesa have. I like go in a world tour during January, February 24, specifying exactly the date and where I'm going. So maybe in this goal to all European countries, I will try to make it tinier. I will say exactly which countries because maybe it's, the one month is not, maybe it's not enough. So I will need more time probably for the world tour. Anyway, but it's to give you an idea. And the same with everything else. If we are talking about increased sales, so we're gonna say how much will be this amount? Or for example, how many prospective customers I will visit per day during January 2024? How is gonna be the reach? for this campaign in advertising, very specified. That's the main concern that I have when you are writing your objectives, when we are doing projects or assignments with this kind of steps. And I always point you this part, to be specific and objective. Why? Because I have to be able to measure in March 2024 if Modesta really visit every single European country in one month. So you see, we have to be uh, able to measure and uh, to put realistic objectives, because maybe if I say every single country located in Europe and I put the name and everything, um, maybe it's not a goal that is doable for this period of time. So you see what is the challenge? It applies for everything. I'm trying to put an example that is uh, simple to see, but with everything else the same. Mes to be able to measure, measure that and to be able to, uh, you know, that accomplish, that we can accomplish this. Because if I'm starting a new business and I'm saying a nice small business and I don't have employees and I'm saying that I'm selling, I don't know, um, any kind of material. I'm thinking right now in, 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 pro in products for office. But if I'm uh, do doing personal sales and in a region in the United States, in a city, and I'm uh, putting that I can, I'm going to sell $3 million per day, for example, maybe it's a goal that we have to recheck and verify if we have the possibility to accomplish this goal. What about if we have a robust uh, internet platform that can help us in this goal? So 
there are many things that we consider. It's simple, you see, it's very simple. It's just one sentence, but always think about that part when you are doing your plans, objectives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. So let's keep going real quick here. I just wanted to do the exercise with you with um with this, but you let me let me go back because it's not it's not um okay some question that you have maybe you have comments or you have been in this process uh, you can tell me what do you think or uh, recommendations that you have maybe ex learning experience that you have oh i wanted to share you with this with you this uh, in the top standard operation procedure or sop for so this is a template. This is a template for your SOP. And this is something else I wanted to share with you. So let's keep going with that part. So SOP. Okay. So let's do the SOP for this trip that World Tour uh, that Modesa is planning. Okay. Because she will start with the European countries, but then she will keep going because it's a World Tour, right? She will be in, in all over the place. So let's see that we um, want to do an SOP, <laughs> a standard of procedure. What is that? It's a graphic. It's just a graphic. One page, you can do it depending, depending, depending the, the, the process, right? But in this case, one page. And I was showing you here in, the, in this template, in the top that you have, uh, how are you going to do your SOP? Just writing the instruction. Like when you're doing a recipe, you open the egg, you put in the in the in the <laughs> in the pan, you do a, a, a different steps if you are cooking, for example. It's like the same, right? So, uh, for example, we can say, uh, I'm going to use the sample of the word tool because to keep the same path, right? Uh, I just need to find something I want for you, uh, if the system allows me. If not, it doesn't matter because we will find a way. We will find a way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just one second. I'm going to do something real quick. Mm -hmm. Insert. Mm -hmm. It's because, you know, this is not uh, what I'm used to do. Okay, uh, drawing mm, new. Well, I'm going to do it here to see if I can, okay? Okay, this is going to help us. You know, what I'm using is very basic. So maybe some of you must have Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, there are uh, more tools than that if you haven't heard about Visio, Visio, Vias Victoria, I India, Z, um, and I O, Visio. Yo, I'm going to put the name on the computer so you can uh, know this tool. It can help you with this kind of projects too. And it's specialized on that. So if Modesa decide to, this, uh, to do a SOP for her world tour, Okay, uh, let's say uh, she will make a call. Uh, no, she will say decision uh, decide the the trip. I don't know. I'm just putting whatever I have in my brain right now. So decide the trip. But what else do you think that Modesa can do? Uh, what What else do you think will be the steps? Let's let's think about let's think about this together what do you think she will do then when she decide to do the trip i have to write to do the trip right because i didn't but what do you think modessa can do if she decide to do the trip what will be the next step that modessa will need to do i wanted to have a square here you know so i my recommendation select a shape and now I supposed to add the test, edit test, decide to do the trip. What what you will do the, the once you decide to do the trip? 
I saw this together. One second, it's not going to take you too much time. What do you think we can do then? What do you think? She decided to do the trip. She decided already. One more the second do. I just copy the same square again. So that's what I did, copy, okay? So what she can do? When she decides, call the agent, call the agent to see the price, right? What do you think? What she will do next? What do you recommend to her? Somebody help me, help me because we make the class faster. I'm just copy and pasting everything, okay? To make it easier and faster for you. So when she called the agent to see the prices, what she can do then? Help me people. This is the last class. Help me a little. Take the money from the bank. Yes or no? Or deposit to this to the agent, right? I know it's a simple exercise, but it's to give you an idea how you're going to start with the SOP. So if you need to do one in your um, organizations, you can know where to start. You have to think what is the process, let's say a customer call. So what happened when a customer call? The call will be answered by this department. Then the customer requests a uh, Admission or <laughs> or the customer request uh, service for the home. You know, depending what is the the goal that you have. But in this case, we are doing like that. So what else uh, she can do? First, uh, apply for a visa. Uh, <laughs> so the, first, uh, thank you. That was what they said. Yes. Thank you. So we're going to put in the top. You see, when you help me, everything, it works better and faster. So first of all, she decides, OK, I'm going to keep the trip in the top. I'm going to do ju just a few steps, not everything. But uh, so then when, once she decides to do the trip, she decided. So now she will request. request and complete the all documents. Exactly. Thank you so much. So once she decided the trip, she will need to obtain, thank you, Norodin, to obtain information uh, about which document she needs. So I'm going to put this one first. You see that we keep finding a step first. Find out the documents, documents that... Uh, are needed let's put it like this you know you will put it better than me but it's an idea okay so i'm gonna delete this so find the document and then the next step that modessa modessa tell me was request the visa for example you know this is a crazy idea here we together but it's to give you an you know so she decided to do the trip, find out the documents that are needed, request the visa. Once she got her approval, because she will get it so fast, but we're going to see she got the approval. Oh, this way. So she got the approval. We come right here. Uh, you know, this this system don't allow us to be very creative. I mean, I'm trying, I don't have too much <laughs> tools, but if the answer is yes, I, I can put this in the line, but mm, I'm just going to do this. Okay, and you forgive me. So if the answer is yes, now she will, mm, what she will do if the answer is yes? Plan the date, probably. Or, uh, yeah, think about the date. Make a, mm, save the date. Save the date. I can say save the date. That means that she will uh, think which days she will have to go uh, when she's leaving, okay? And when she saved the day, let's say the answer is, we have to think in the contingency plan. Remember, you know, I don't like to be negative, but I have to do for this case, okay? So in case that, no, because we always have to think in all the possibility as an administrator, uh, if the answer is no, she will wait, <laughs> wait uh, for the next uh, period uh, to request. Let me put this. Uh, 
Oh, I cannot see everything. Then the next, uh, let me put this in the top so you can see what I'm doing. The next period to request visa again because she's not gonna give up. Okay, so in case that uh, we, we obtain a no as an answer, she will wait for the next period to request again. So I can put yes here and then here, um, it's an example, okay? Have me patient. And here, no, in case that we have. Also, if she decide or that is the answer is no, she can do a tour in the country that she is in this. So for example, if she's here in the United States and she got an answer that is negative, she can uh, go to other plan and then say, okay, I'm gonna make a, my work, my tour in the different states and have some, um, you know, experience inside this country and that's something that she can try to do in the meantime she requests again her visa to go to europe okay it's just to give you an idea how you will create your sop i know it's not an administrative example but it's the same for everything else so for example if we receive a customer call or we receive a, a sale a online sale so now what is going to happen? How is the process uh, sale on the internet? I don't know. You're saying whatever, right? So sale on internet, the same. What is the process? The customer made the payment. The customer receive an email saying thank you. Uh, the customer receive another email saying that the package is gone. And then if the customer replies back or the customer uh, um, don't want the package, they return. How is the process? All of this kind of a step, we establish this here with the SOP. It's just to give you an idea, okay? So if you are in charge of a department of purchase or any other project, you, you can start how to design your um, standard of procedure. But why we do this? Why we want to follow certain steps, especially when we have things that needs to follow procedure for example medical aspect me, medical industry uh, customer service industry uh, operations or uh, transportation of materials you know uh, that's that's the reason why we have all of these steps established because uh, you know you gonna handle thousand of persons, uh, hundred of person, any kind of quantity you can imagine, and they will need um, information about how to proceed in certain cases, right? So this is an idea. Something that you have, and here, what, what is this? This document you can download if you want or look for another one on the internet, it doesn't matter, I'll find on the web. So uh, this document is the same. What we were doing with the squares, you can do it with the numbers here, the same thing. But you will see in the in business, you will see maybe both the instruction plus the graphic. That's something you will see. The graphics are common. Some Somebody have been doing this in the past, maybe something new, maybe you are tired of this in the past, you use it, you did it for a company, for corporations, for your own business, I don't know. Tell me what... Is this, is this something that you have been working in the past or now? Tell me, and let's keep going. Some, somebody have comments on this. Is something new for you? Maybe, maybe not. You know what? I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you, never in the school, never in the university, I made master <laughs> and bachelor, I never hear about this. I hear about, maybe I don't remember, maybe they teach me and I forgot, but um, I hear about this, why move uh, to another country and I start to work and I hear about that. And then because I always work hard and everything, and then they put me to do this kind of things in the university I was working before this one. So I used to do this uh, kind of graphic. So imagine I never hear this in my life. And I find it so interesting because uh, in, in the case I was doing that, that was for a, a missions team. 
Uh, it was huge team. It's not one person or it was 20, 25, 30 big team, right? So we established establish the steps uh, when the students call to the school, what they supposed to do, what they know, etc. So that's why they use this kind of uh, graphics. Something that you have seen in the past, tell me, tell me, help me. So like, I'm gonna keep going because that's what he's talking here. And you see on the chat, I said, for example, the different kind of planning that we will see when we say premising is establishing the scope of the plan. Sometimes you need to establish, um, we mentioned that a hundred times, uh, external condition, uh, economic condition. We, we mentioned this many times, but tell me if you have something that if you related with this concept, maybe you hear this on the past or you work with that. Supportive plans. You remember when we say that Modesa maybe will need to change if she receive a no by answer, which I don't think so, but it's an example. <laughs> If, if she receives a no by answer, what she will do? So it's a supportive plan, okay? B, uh, plan, plan B, like the people say, plan B, plan C, etc. The plan C was, okay, I'm gonna do it. Uh, if I receive no, maybe I will do it. I'm gonna go back to my country and visit my family, or maybe I will do a tour inside the United States. You, who knows, right? Depending what she decides. Planning, implementing, and controlling. Controlling. So, you know, planning, what we were doing, implementing, it's going on, and then controlling, making sure the process have been doing effectively. So once more the Sam made this world tour, we have to make sure she already visit every single country like she said she will visit. Okay, and we're going to uh, make account, uh, the accounting of this, accountable, making accountable. Yeah. Something interesting. I like the exercise with the word tour for Modesa. I, I know you always attracted with the traveling. So I expect that you will tell me something about that. Um, so here we go. A hierarchical plan, it's um, based on the on the uh, different areas of the organization. Uh, for example, the institution, the whole corporation, but maybe uh, we are talking about a department, like I was saying, admission department, so now department, okay? Depending or, or based on the day-to-day -day operational, right? Day-to-day -to -day basic, what happened? Like when we receive a phone call, or what happened when we have to transport material, when a customer buys something, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it. Um, comments that you have, maybe something that you, tell me, tell me something, help me, help me. I know you have stories on all of this. I know you have um, things to tell me, but you usually, you usually shy and then I find out on the end of the class when some people steal, then you start talking and you start telling me many things. So <laughs> contingency plan, the emergency, we mentioned that goals or outcome statement. So we are speaking about the results, the results that we want, the result in this case, uh, to have a customer satisfied, uh, the, what the customer purchase received, was received, etc. Also, when you say these multiple goals and goal hierarchy, mm, what is what that means? Um, there are many goals in the organization. It's not only one, and it's not organizational. Also, the people that is in, in there, inside, they have personal goals. So all of these things, to synchronize all of these things, uh, this is the challenge. Some goals will be against what the organization have and what the individual is looking for. For example, let's say you don't you want to retire soon or you are not committed with the plans that the organization has. So now it, it, it is like a little discrepancy. That's what that means, right? The divergency on the goals. But yeah, more information is something that you are familiarized. And I'm gonna take on this because it's not necessary. What you see here, shell phone type outs, more information about laundry products, 
So, okay, this is something you did on the assignment to uh, the goals of the the goals of the employees of of your team of your uh, members of your you know people that you are around impacts on the performance that's what that is. Um, how you can motivate them to obtain the objectives basing in their goals okay and then when you see uh, the next um, let's go to the next one because this is a little long the next one because it's two 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 chapter but okay the last idea i want to leave you with the control the technology will be your friend to help you how to uh, when you have huge operation that you have a lot of data the technology will help you to uh, make the accountability in this case in all of these countries right we have to have a system to uh, make sure in this case can be simple manual but what about when we have a huge amount of data the technology will help you on this uh, kind of areas right depending on your needs as an administrator so that's what is going to talk in the next chapter and the impact of the technology i know i'm going so fast but it's because it's kind of different topics that we have been going uh, managing by objectives what is that Rel relating your goals with uh, the goals in the organization to have a let's say balance have a balance in both so we can have a healthy organization like for example if you have a goal like modesta to travel i know a lot of you have this goal because this is something you tell me a lot <laughs> the traveling okay, so what about if the organization that we have provide to the members uh, to do, accomplish these goals to have uh, to know different regions to know different countries etc cetera, etc cetera. so now we have look at the screen high level of commitment what that means the employee the person the individual is more engaged because my goal is to have this world tour and with this organization that i am working or um or or that i have uh, or uh, that i administrate uh, allows to accomplish that goal imagine that that employees feel this way mm. there are many strategies to do that right even if you don't offer the traveling option right but many many ways uh, sometimes just a simple word just to show them or that you appreciate them can help you significantly people is very interested in themselves you know, if you read information, I'm reading Del Canergy a lot lately, so that's why I'm keep with that. But um, Del Canergy say that people is interested in themselves. So once you show them that you have genuine interest in what they their needs, you have one step and ahead, and a step and ahead, and that can guarantee you success in many in many things. But it's a genuine interest, you know? So it's like a, to make an exercise to observe the needs uh, of the communities or, or the population that you serve. I know that I'm always with that, but we are, all, we are done with this class, so we, uh, you won't have this anymore. So here, I'm going fast because the yeah. other chapter is pending, uh, but it's about technology. It's how the technology help you in, in the organization, managing the different, you know, tools that we have. Look at this. Management of technology and innovation. What is that? Uh, being focused in new new ways to do the um to do the different process in organization and uh, so that's why i'm almost always in, in the school trying to implement those courses you notice that you will have business intelligence you have mobile marketing uh, and more uh, courses related to technology introduction to computer uh, i know you asked me those courses also in the evaluation you put i want a computer i offer you as many technology so i hope that can help you a little but we are trying you know to put you in contact with the most advanced uh, possible right because all of this technology will help you in your administration process to have most effect most effective um, 
effective ways to do the different um, process that you do. Early innovations, early innovations, like you see, some of you are using the business, the intelligence, right? The artificial intelligence. I uh, wish not very creative, but yes, uh, to do many things, right? So that's what is going on. Some of you have comments in the artificial intelligence. I know you have many comments on that because you have been using different tools of the artificial intelligence lately, right? Tell me, what is your opinion? What do you think about that? About this part? If some of you is in contact with that, tell me, tell me, tell us so we can learn from you. So different ways that we can make this business more um, con contemporary, adapted to the new times. And uh, one of the ways you will see here, if, we keep, if I keep going in the book, you will see, for example, buying new, new ideas, buying new technologies, new companies, uh, also joint venture. What is that joint venture? Like, for example, uh, Let's, I'm going to put Norudin here because it's on my list. Norudin and Almas, they are together to create a new solution for, uh, innovative for uh, the, you know, the, uh, the audience. Let's say, for example, if Norudin is expert in technology and Almas is expert, let's say, marketing, for say, to say something, right? Technology and marketing together. So they both with these capacities they have, uh, uh, every of them in, their own organization, they create a new product to help business in their commercial platforms. So we have an innovation product here. So that's what that means. When you do join venture, remember join, joining to have a third, third entity that is uh, serving another audience join but also we have merger and acquisition what is that so for example now nurudin as expert in technology and almas that is a company focused in marketing now they are becoming one together so now instead of nurudin company and almas company will be nuru almas something like that created to offer new innovation uh, depending what they do and what they they offer into the market right it's an idea so some of these ways that we can, uh, you know, improve or uh, serve another public, another audience that we never, we never, we didn't, we were, we were not doing that. So we are reaching new customers, for example, or reaching new populations, offering more solutions to our customers or our society. Because I like to explain you, there are projects that are for non-profit. There are projects that are non-profit and for projects for profit. For all of them, we can, uh, you know, offer innovation. And there are also religious processes that help the society. So all of those can be helped with the administration sector. Every single thing, including your personal lives, okay? It's so simple, like when you find help from other people, like here in the screen, you will see these two gentlemen here, they create an innovation in commercial area facilities, like a uh, mall. They create a mall with a special features, and that's why uh, it's in the book, because they have results with this project. And that's it. You see, that's it. We are done. We are practically done with everything here. I'm just doing today a little bit different, like in turbo mode. Uh, but here you will see what I was talking. That's what I was saying, the joint venture partnership. Uh, look at this entrepreneurial new business development. That's the goal, right? That uh, to have this on you, this entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur, um, how I can say that, to promote this in all of you. Right, this entrepreneur sense. Um, but here, here we gonna keep talking new products, new products and service, and you can see on the screen research and development, research and development. Because how do you think these vaccines, all of these new products, technology have been creating through a lot of research, a lot of research. What do you have for me? Comment something, people, tell me. 
Um, if uh, some of you, I have, oh, yes, I have people here that was working in research. So you can tell me how the research uh, help or if you have been in this kind of projects that we mentioned, um, operational, SOP, all of that that we mentioned together, if there is something that you have been working in the past or that you have experience. Um, I think I'm going to stop recording. I don't have anything else because the activity that I will do with Modessa, I won't record that because it's not necessary. I already did. So I'm going to stop now.